I think when we talk about drunk driving, it's not so much an issue as there's an epidemic. According to a 2010 survey, the highest percentage of people that get in drunk driving accidents are people aged 16 and 17. So, I mean, that's this is an issue that's directly affecting our age group. Alcohol being a depressant will definitely slow down the body, especially that of a young person. And you'll jeopardize anybody's life. This is why drunk driving kills more than 13,000 Americans a year. When we think of drunk driving, we think of this situation where you know that person's drunk, that you're getting in the car with, when in reality most people don't know that that person's drunk. I mean, a, a 0.08 blood alcohol level is enough to be considered drunk driving. And a lot of times you can't even tell that person's drunk at that point. So the situation is really a lot more nuanced than people think it is. If you're hopping in a car with someone, well, you just ask that person. You just say, hey, hey man, were you drinking at all? And that can, that can save your life. And if they say, yeah, I was, that can save their life. I think, I think the reason most people have this, uh, you know, most of these accidents or calls are because people are just, are afraid of some of the temporary, uh, some of the temporary trouble they'll get in. You know, if, they're, if their parents find out, you know, if they call them or whatever. But the thing is that, you know, these temporary problems, you know, maybe you're grounded for two weeks, that's not worth risking your life. You know, call your parents if you're drunk at a party. And if it's and not your parents, call a friend. Call someone you know is sober. Or get a friend to drive you home. Just don't, don't risk it. Don't risk your life. Think before you act. Think before you drink.